T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off. Go SpaceX, go tracers. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4E. After clearing the tower, we now tilt or gimbal the engines to initiate a roll maneuver, which you may notice here in that stage one camera view. Falcon 9 power and telemetry are nominal. Now this enables the vehicle's antennas to stay in the best position for communicating with the ground. Now coming up next, the vehicle will pass through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic. And the engines will throttle down ahead of this to reduce... M1D chamber pressure is nominal. ...to reduce load. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. Now the Merlin engines are back at power and we're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, resulting in less loads on Falcon 9. You. Now the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid gravity pulling it back down to Earth.